Yeah, Dia, like you just said, yet another life-threatening shooting this evening, this time at 50th and Garfield. Meanwhile, while that's going on, just blocks away, a Kansas City, Missouri neighborhood bands together, taking small steps towards what they really hope leads to big change. Henry Harris has lived in the same Kansas City home since 1965, and in that time, he's seen his fair share of violence. I've seen it all over. He believes the roots of Kansas City's violence has never been addressed. And when you fight the problem, not what caused the problem, it's going to spread throughout the whole university. But today, right outside his doorstep on Wayne Avenue, possibly a small step towards resolution. We think by bringing people together, giving them fun things to do like color, play basketball, food, music is a great way to do that. Of course, coloring may be just the start of the Stop the Violence blueprint, but to see the bigger picture, Rosie Williams believes any fix starts inside the home. I need to do more. We as, we as parents, grandparents, we just need to do more. We send our kids off to get rid of them. So do you think they don't feel that? Kansas City's had 33 homicides already in 2016 and is on pace for more than 100 yet again this year. It's a growing concern Mayor Sly James mentioned just days ago. We need to lower our crime rates and we're doing as much as we can on that, but we still have a long way to go. And for these Kansas Cityans, cutting crime means giving kids a real chance to succeed. That kid wants the same thing you want. They can't get it, they're going to go somewhere else, some other way to get it. It ain't their fault. It's our fault. Josh Helmuth, 41 Action News.